Welcome to Subnautica and welcome to some black screen. Yeah, and that has to do with a warning. This is a massive spoiler warning. This is the only warning that you get so far uh, because there is quite a story behind the game. If you want to discover it for yourself, then don't watch this video because I will show you scenes throughout the gameplay and I have played in this one playthrough alone over 26 hours. So I've come around a little bit in the world of Subnautica, which is just beautiful. So what is Subnautica about? So first of all, you can see me here creating a submarine, a little submarine. It's called the Seamoth. It's your um, yeah, surface water taxi. The maximum depth it can get with all the upgrades uh, is 900 meters initially, just 200 meters. And it gives you um, a lot more moving space. So yeah, the this little submarine, the Seamoth, is very nice and it allows you to harvest more resources and to go to places from which you then co can go deeper. Yeah, me and self-discipline. Yeah, this is the Pronsuit. It's amazing. Um, I love it. And it gives you many, many more options in this game. It goes to a maximum depth of 1,700 meters. And uh, yeah, it can do a lot of things. Currently, not that much. So, for example, if you're upgrade, you can harvest a bit more resources, which normally you cannot access. For example, drill some gold. Or you know, drill some infected animals, because I hate those bastards, they always damage me. And also non-infected ones. Yeah, this is your best defense, attack. <laughs> the next thing that you can create, or even before the bronze suit, depends which upgrades you get first, is the Cyclops. And this is more like a mobile base. Yeah, it's big you can put a lot of stuff into it i would recommend it for some really um, end game exploration when you need to go to the lava zone and so forth because you need a lot of water you need a lot of resources um, to survive there and to fulfill your um, tasks so to speak which you actually never get really told you just get hints of them and this is something that i really really like um, yeah, you can see this thing is not small and I'm just uh, closing down the hatches because later on you get attacked by Reaper Leviathans and so forth and this is the engine room, a lot of power cells, um, again closing down the hatches and just looking at the stuff um, and yes this uh, submarine can get lit on fire from an outside attack go figure and this is the control room and there you can then move around after of course you started the engine which is kind of the interface which is kind of uh, integrated in the front glass or the view glass whatever and uh, yeah it's more like a mobile base it's actually slower than a seamoth by quite a bit but it's really nice to have and uh, yeah you hear that banging that is actually some air banging on this submarine. And I'm just editing it. Guess how I will name it. Now here comes a little bit of the story spoil. This is not really early on, but it then really tells you that you will not get off this planet easily. There is this quote unquote building, and this is now part of the story, so I will let you watch the scene. Survivor, we see you. Man, I don't know how you held out down there. We broke an atmosphere and we're descending towards the landing site. Is that a building down there? What do you mean you can't identify it? Hold on. No turning back now. Positions, everyone. Touching down in 10, 9, 8. It's coming from the building? Change course. Set thrusters to full.
And as Jingle said, well, at least they get their stuff, right? No, actually you don't, because the entirety of their ship got shot down. So, yeah, bit of um, a hint there that I will not get off the planet by just, uh, you know, calling a taxi. <laughs> so, um, the next thing that then you have is to try to get off from your plan yourself. And the first step to do so is to build a Neptune launch platform. And this is the biggest thing that I probably can build. In the background, you can see the Aurora, which is a big portion of the map, to be honest. It's the entirety of your ship. It is actually um, very wise to go there early on. There is a lot of supply there, a lot of stuff to scan that helps you um, early on. Don't wait too long, which might be a, I don't know, rookie mistake. Um, a lot of stuff to loot there. That was loud. And uh, this platform is uh, just, yeah, well, the first part of it. But to actually get the stuff that you need to build the rockets, certain parts in particular, is not that easy, okay? So if you are confused up until this point, I totally can understand. This was just for you being thrown into the uh, cold water, so to speak. And again, this is a bit late gameplay, so to speak. Um, I did not record the early stages, which are some of the most fun, but also some of the most repetitive stages. So let me explain story-wise what happens, okay? So now, full spoiler alert. You are on a exploration ship, which is the Aurora, which you can see in the background again. And you can see it's in a rough shape. And that is because it was shot down, like the sunbeam that we saw earlier in the clip. And uh, you are apparently the only survivor. You got hints of other people that went into escape pods as well. And, um, well, they um, got killed after they landed. So either by the landing itself or because something uh, chewed through their uh, life pod, as you could see just a moment ago on the left side. And yeah, you can then scan some, uh, some resources and some tech and so forth that helps you to improve your surviving. So you land on this water planet, apparently that's the first thing that you can see. You are in your life pods and you need to then go out and secure your surviving by gathering some fish that you then cook and uh, that's important for eating. Now, technically there are three game modes. One is hardcore mode, so just one life and uh, no oxygen warning and so forth. Then you need to, uh, yeah, seek uh, or improve your gear, you know, better um, oxygen tanks, um, better swimsuits um, or radiation suit to go to the Aurora, um, better mobility in the shape of the Seamoth and first of all the Sea Glide which I didn't show you but it's just a thing that you literally hold in your hands uh, that propels you at a much higher speed and uh, you don't have to go uh, or you don't have to waste that much uh, time to uh, go to the surface and back. At the later stages uh, you almost don't need to go to the surface uh, anymore at all except for having some view or building some stuff and uh, yeah you need to build a little bit of a base to fabricate stuff to uh, improve your gear uh, after you scanned um, an upgrade for it basically and uh, at some point you realize that you got infected and you have to search under various different habitats for various different resources. As you can see here, there are some floating islands and uh, yeah, some giant floaters that actually keep the islands afloat, but they are tied to the ground by some roots, blood oil roots to be precise, which is also a resource that from time to time you have to um, collect to make some 
benzene that you need for further fabrication so it's it's not that straightforward and very easy and in fact there are some very rare resources that i actually had to uh, look up on the internet where to find them because they are so damn rare and now um, we are going down a very very deep cave with some very nasty animals and um, this is now some of a bit of the end so to speak um, an, an very essential part I have been down there before but not as deep so that's a bit um, for me personally a bit annoying that I had to go down there to find resources to um, collect them to go down even further so um, I was just a few hundred meters away from a very critical point and there you can see some beautiful beautiful stuff here um, because this is an area with some heavy water in it uh, it has a special English name for it but something like this exists in reality I'm talking about the green stuff on the ground um, if you ever thought that for example Spongebob Squarehead has some weird science behind it you know making fire on the water or something like this oh that's that's a nasty animal activating the shield it drains a lot of animal he hit me just a split second before uh, I cannot afford to lose that much energy so off with the shield again um, those are some upgrades I tried to get out of here but uh, <laughs> yeah this is not the optimal playthrough and I kind of know what I'm doing kind of don't know what I'm doing it's the first time that I'm down here with the Cyclops and it's a very very big ship it's very difficult to maneuver in those uh, tight corners in this cave you know and uh, yeah this Leviathan creature here is actually relentlessly attacking me but I cannot stop it you see it's this is one of the parts where it's really really difficult for me to get a good recording this was intentionally made for recording to um, go through and it's not as smooth as you might expect and I was like normally I would play differently but it would require much more time and there you can see some of the leaks on the hull of the Cyclops um, and I need to go down further and there are some heavy water um, waterfalls so to speak and we have to follow them so it's those caves can be a bit tricky okay not just to maneuver but also to go into the right direction and the easiest way is to just follow the heavy water and if you want to go out um, swim to the opposite into the opposite direction so uh, follow the water up and there are some nasty creatures at times it's really spooky this is something that I have to really say about this game and um, yeah it has to do that we need to go down for some resources and to follow also a little bit the storyline and um, yeah I'm looking here up my gear drinking some water and now going out to repair it um, because now I'm uh, out of the reach of this Leviathan creature and uh, I just need to fix up my submarine and yeah you have something like a repair tool yeah they saw the name napalm's finest uh, i couldn't resist <laughs> um i think this is also something very very nice that you can do that you can kind of create your own stuff in a in a certain way um there we go and you know it takes a while to go this the entire gameplay here that i showed you is over an hour long I will not show you this this one part here and um, it's the very first time that I went down there okay so please keep that in mind yeah there we go um, closing the hatches this time I could see I have the prawn suit with me which is very very essential to go down with because of the drilling arm which you really really need to harvest some of the resources initially you can uh, collect a lot of the resources just with your bare hands but uh, some of the resources um, that are further down 
Oh, I love those ghost rays. By the way, um, one of the reasons that I like them is not just because they look good, but because they don't want to eat you. Yes, there is some nasty stuff out there that not just hurts you, but also wants to eat you alive. And there you can see some of the uh, cover, some of the art of this playthrough. Uh, some black smokers, in this case white smokers, which uh, in reality exist somewhere in the Pacific if I'm not mistaken, and look at this skeleton. Isn't that enormous? Surrounded by three heavy water waterfalls. Yeah, um, this stuff, by the way, the green stuff is, surprise, surprise, very, very toxic. And there is also something of the alien structure. So um, to complete the story, you got shot down by a gun that was installed by some aliens to prevent um, life forms that have been infected with a bacteria to escape. And initially you think to yourself, well, ah, okay, I got infected, but it will not that bad. But you follow also another group of uh, survivors that also got shot down previously um, called the Degasi and um, when you read through their PDAs and you listen to their recordings you come to the conclusion oh boy it's much more difficult than I thought yeah this is a bit of the grappling arm action here I was not that used to it at this time so um, it can go better than this. Yeah, but they actually came to this planet, as far as I can tell you right now, to do some research on this disease. And this killed 143 billion uh, people, not necessarily humans, but people of their race throughout the galaxy. So they actually um, wanted to make sure that uh, it doesn't spread further away so they kind of did all this containment stuff and this is a broken down facility you see one of my beacons here that means i have been here before but it was um, uh, with a different vehicle so um, i didn't have the opportunity I didn't have the resources to spend time on this. I just had to get out of there because I didn't have enough water with me. You want to play? You want to play? Those things are nasty. They always attack you when you don't look. Yeah, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. I drill you a new one. There we go. Here's enough. Yeah, you can see um, a so-called warper here um, on top. And those things are really nasty. It turns out they are created to uh, ensure um, that nobody gets off this planet. So uh, every life form that is not uh, origin to this planet gets attacked and killed by them. So they are actually not an indigenous life form. And there we are inside this alien facility. And it was exactly this moment that I went through uh, all the stuff that we can see here right now um, that I realized what's really going on on this planet. So if you want to finally cut the final spoiler, this is your final chance. Yeah, this is also part of the story and uh, at this point in time it gets really, really spooky as if the stuff that's outside is not spooky enough. Now, um, inside this facility I will get a lot of intel, um, I can scan a lot of things, but not a lot of technology. And uh, yeah, let's scan this. It's just an egg, right? No, it's a sea dragon egg and those things are nasty there we can see some rays rays are friendly in this game which i like for a change uh, because they don't want to kill me um there is some uh, data terminal Integrating new PDA data. yeah and that just uh, oh my god look at this skeleton uh, <laughs> i'm not saying that it is a bit big but uh, yeah it's a bit big let's see what it is uh, remains of research specimen. So yeah, those were some uh, alien Nazi doctors, I guess. Uh, yeah, and this room. Biological evidence suggests indigenous life forms were brought to this location and subjected to intensive study. 
yeah uh, it turns out that I not just overlooked this iron cube right there but that they were actually um, very desperate to find a cure about the, this disease um, but they failed so the quarantine was their final desperate uh, attempt to get rid of this and the story uh, in this in this thing I will not go right through it but now I need to go uh, after the save I'll go back to the submarine and get one of those violet uh, tablets however I was followed of course by um, a predatory life form which wanted to uh, chew on my ass but no let's get drilled son right you know you like that don't you mm. and yeah uh, he had enough for today so yeah so now let's go and investigate this other room that is secured by a force field that you can unlock by some um, violet tablets and then we can further um, yeah, in this room there's just a data terminal and specimen research data now the quintessence here is that they were really desperate to find a cure for this and they found out that some of the leviathans are immune to this disease and uh, they became their main interest of research and um, that will be a part of the end so to speak that you well investigate that now the structures overall are nearly a thousand years old so you can imagine some really nasty stuff is going on there um i think i'll cut it here uh at the end i just uh, excuse for this rather frankenstein style video of putting together stuff it was just to give you a first impressions a very rough overlook i'm not quite sure if you guys are interested in a complete playthrough from the very beginning where to find the stuff what to do how to survive how to make it easy because there are some really really nice tricks and um yeah the thing is this was just a very rough Im impression it was the um, scary part rather the spooky stuff it goes further down into the lava zone it goes further down into uh, another part that's uh, called the lava castle with with some nasty stuff by the way this is now further data terminal and there you can see yeah Yeah, here is the cell scan. I did it before, and it tells me that it is infected. The first time I did it, it looked uh, it looked much spookier. Then we can see all those limbs of those uh, warpers, and they are artificially designed to. Uh, yeah, you can see they are not real life forms. So this is why you have so many difficulties killing them. I didn't kill one up until this point, and I'm just looking further for some stuff to scan yeah um let me know what you think about this video it is on purpose done a bit different from some other videos that i saw on youtube this is if you want to see what's down the line a little bit and let's see if i can make it to the end i will do that definitely before i will begin from uh new and i will do it in the survival mode but not in the hardcore mode um but also not in the free editor mode where you i think don't have to worry about uh, food and water which is by the way an essential part about surviving uh, or the gameplay so um that's it for me today uh first of all thanks for watching thanks for listening let me know in the comment section if you like this video if you want to see a further playthrough if you want to be if you want to have um a bit more order in your uh, or in in the video itself because it's a bit difficult for me to um you know record all this stuff 
because if you play through it 26 hours 28 hours for one playthrough yes i know it can be done much much faster in like 10 hours or 15 hours whatever but i want to explore the entirety of this game because i think it's fully worth it so then again, thanks for watching, thanks for listening, let me know in the comment section what you think about this game, give this video a like if it did, subscribe if you want to see more, and we'll see each other in the depths of Subnautica.